it's an important year because it celebrates the 30 years of the restoration of the keeper's house itself. It's that 1990 restoration project that really helped put Port Clyde's Marshall Point on the map. At the same time, squashing any further talk of putting up a hotel here, a suggestion that had riled many locals into action. It caused enough of a stir that everybody mobilized. They decided that, uh, you know, they almost took a pledge to uh, do everything they could in order to uh, preserve the place. And the only difference is, is that we made it possible to go through. And preserve it they have. Today, the lighthouse and its quarter mile of shoreline attracts some 40,000 visitors a year. As someone asked me a while back, what makes it so special? And I said, if it's the first time in Maine, where can you see a lighthouse? Where can you see the islands of Maine? Where can you see the rocky coastline and the lobster boats and the buoys? And of course, where else can you see the spot Forrest Gump made it to that other ocean? That famous movie scene well documented inside the Lighthouse Museum, which also opened 30 years ago. How many people ask about Forrest Gump? Uh, about 90 percent. Always such the scenic location. But for so many years before the restorations began, much of it had fallen into disrepair. But the ongoing work... Just finished last summer. Finished last summer. Including completion of this replica keeper's barn and workshop in 2019. Uh, latest edition. Um, we really worked hard. And it sort of completes the campus. Has, for the first time in decades, Marshall Point looking virtually as it did back in the heyday when keepers lived here manning the light. All part of, of the design to try to get the campus back to what it was way back when. A design with roots dating back now three decades. The reason to tout 2020 as such an important year. In order to honor those people who had the foresight to not let this become a hotel and become part of the history of the peninsula is really uh, a great deal to celebrate after 30 years. And by the way, along with Forrest Gump, a scene from the Stephen King movie Thinner, also filmed there in 1995.